Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is set matrix zeros. So in this question, we are given a M by N integer matrix called matrix. And if our element is zero, set its entire row and column to zeros. And the most important thing is we have to do it in place, which means that you shouldn't be creating a new matrix and we have to edit the input matrix itself. So let's take a look at this example and see how this can be solved. So let's take a look at the example here. I've taken the same example one and drawn it here. So I've given indices to the matrix. So this is the zeroth row and this is the zeroth column. Adjacent to that are its next columns one and two. And this is the first row and the second row. This element will be denoted by the intersection of row and column that is zero zero. And each cell has its index written at the bottom right. Now we need to iterate through the matrix from left to right, starting from zeroth row and zeroth column. The outer for loop will represent the rows and the inner for loop will represent the columns. Now we have to check if the element in each cell is a zero. We'll start from here. It is not a zero. It is not a zero. It is not a zero. Next row, it is not a zero. This is a zero. We take that element and check its row and add it into a set I've created called row set. So this row has a zero and we take the column for that element which is one, add it into another set I created. Now we move further. Now we'll check if this is having zero. No, it's not a zero. It's not a zero. It's not a zero. And we reach the end of the matrix. Now we have these two flags, row set and column set. Now we need to change the input matrix in place so that we don't have to create a new matrix. Now we again iterate from the zeroth row and the zeroth column till the end of the matrix. This element has zero, zero. Zero is not present inside this matrix. So we move further. So zero, one. Zero is the row, but we have one as the column. Column has one here. So we change that element to a zero. Now we move further. It is zero, two. 0, 2 is not present in either of the sets. So we move further. 1, 0. Now we have row as 1. So row is 1 here. So we change that element. Now we have this element having 1 as row and 1 as column. So we change that element. Now we go to the next element. It has 1 as row and 2 as column. 1 is present as a row. So we change that element. Now we move further. 2 and 0. 2 is not present in row, 0 is not present in column, so move further. 2 and 1, 2 is not present in rows, 1 is, pre 1 is present in row and column, so we can change that element to 0. Now we go to this element, 2 is the row, 2 is not present in either of the sets, so we don't change that element. And we reach the end of the matrix. And here you can see we got the expected result, so this input matrix will finally look like this. And this is the final answer. Now let's code it up. Now that we have seen the example, let's code it up. So this is the function given to us set zeros and this is the input matrix named matrix and the return type is void which means that you don't have to return anything. Let's start off by finding the number of rows and columns in matrix. So in rows and in columns we find the first row's length to find how many columns it has. Now let's declare the two sets row set and column set which will hold the row and column which has zeros now let's use two for loops to iterate through the rows and columns the outer for loop will iterate through the rows starting from zero till how many rows are there the inner loop is for columns which will start from zero now we have to find if that element at that row and column is a zero. So if matrix of ij is equal to zero, then we add that row and that column in its respective hash set. Rows will go inside row set and columns will go inside column set. Row is represented by i and columns is represented by j. We are adding the row inside row set and adding the column inside columns. Now this is the for loop which will give us how many rows and columns have zeros. Now we have our flags indicating the rows and columns inside these two sets. Now we have to set zeros inside the input matrix itself. So now we have to modify the input matrix. Let's iterate through the rows and columns again. Now this is representing the row 
and this is representing the column it will start from the element here until the element here in this example so it will go in this way so each time we have to check if the row or column is present inside our flags so if row set dot contains i or if column set dot contains j then we set that element as zero so inside the input matrix itself we set that element to zero so this will happen for all the elements until we reach the end of the matrix here and it will set the respective element to zero and once this loop ends the input matrix has been modified according to the re requirement and we don't have to return anything because the return type is void now let's run the code here it is so here it is j plus plus let's run the code the test cases are passing let's submit the code there you have it a solution has been accepted the time complexity of this approach is o of m into n where m denotes the number of rows and n denotes the number of columns and the space complexity of is o of m plus n where again m represents the number of rows and number of columns because we are using two sets to store the uh, row and column numbers as a flag that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video